So today we have a Skytrack 154. We have a It's a Cummins engine. I think 3.8 Yep. So, uh, let's see. So now the ignition is on. Yep, it has a CAN bus fault signal invalid. It start flashing and red light is on. I see different codes. First thing, we need to get the codes. Five two forty six. Display is not showing good, but yeah, one five six nine and one seven six one three zero three one three three six four oh five six nine. Thirty-one, nine, nine, nine. So we have so, different codes, but I see it show the diff level is zero percent death level so let's check the fluid if it's in there Uh oh. Yep, it's overfilled. It's filled enough. So it doesn't show the right level. If I have a good memory. Those codes are related to, to the diff sensor. Yep. Let's. So it could be the wiring to the diff sensor, it could be the diff sensor itself. So, first thing I'm gonna check if we have a signal to the diff sensor. What we do is. Take a voltmeter or multimeter and I'm going to go right here. Disconnect the plug right here of the sensor. 
is disconnected. So that's the harness side. So let's measure between the orange and the black. Should have that's for the power. Yeah, we get power. Reverse. Yeah, 11.4. I think the black is the ground and the orange is the power. So let's measure between the orange and the ground somewhere we can get the ground from here yeah that's the same voltage that means the ground is, is normal it's good yeah So we know the ground is good, the voltage, yeah, we get a voltage. So now, let's measure between the ground, the black one, and those two other wires are for the CAN bus signal. Yep, we get a signal, 2.46. Two point forty eight looks normal. Next step, I'm gonna turn off the ignition and measure the resistance between the CAN bus. Oh. Now the ignition is off. I'm gonna turn the voltmeter to ohm meter and measure the resistance I guess we have to get around 60 yeah 58.5 it looks good the harness is good so now Let's connect this one back and the next step is I'm going to connect the computer to the machine and make sure the codes we have are for uh, the depth. Yep, alright, that's the code we have. Yeah, it shows the wrong level. I'm sure that's the so one. So now, but well, let's try to see, see what the, the computer says. Is. Connected. So it's reading. Fault codes. Yeah. Yeah, the first code. So 3714 engine protection torque delay uh, no need this code this one will be gone as soon as we fix the others so after diesel exhaust fluid tank uh, yep abnormal update rate yeah quality sensor DEF quality sensor yeah Catalytic reduction operation. Yeah, after treatment selected. Yeah, I think they all related to the depth sensor. So we're gonna have to replace that sensor. So that's the next step because we checked the harness is good. The signal to the depth is good. 
but we still have no signal from there to the ECM and let's see one more thing here now Diagrams that two point eight. So Let's put the D E F. So that's our diff sensor the CB16 so as I said one for the ground the number pin number three is for the ground pin number two is for the the power and uh, now I'm sorry the pin number four is for the power and one and two are that uh, uh, wires or CAN bus wires yeah they go to the ECM yep so right, next step is replacing the tank that's it So after we replace the death heater sensor, after we will replace the whole thing. So let's see if we have a to have the same coat. Oh yeah, the reading is just 10%, but it's, we still have codes because we have to start it and let it clear itself. Might take a couple minutes. Yep, so no more. Canvas pole. So all we need just add more dead fluid and we'll be good. So no more pole. Yeah, just ten person now or nine person. Need to add more fluid. <laughs> 